Hi there, I just wanted to run through your first assignment for the year in English really quickly with you. I say really quickly, but despite my best attempts, this is probably going to be a longer video than I intended. Feel free to run it at twice speed if that makes you happy. So this is your first assignment for the semester. There are four uh, in total. This first one being worth 25%, it is your in-class responding task. It is going to take place at this stage during the double lesson of week four. Um, please stay, uh, please pay attention to the classroom. We will let you know the specific date in your specific class. It will take a full two hours. That means we'll go straight through the double, straight through the lunch break, and we will end the lesson early rather than taking a break in the middle. Um, the rest of that information you're able to read at your own leisure. I would like to draw your attention to the Declaration of Original Work. As you will know, as we will discuss in class, we take original work incredibly seriously at the college level. So there's some information there that you're able to click on and read uh, in order to get a strong understanding of what academic integrity means, um, particularly in terms of an in-class task such as the one we're going to do. So in class, we've been studying the ways in which place is important to different people and how this is written, sorry, reflected in written texts. This task is designed to allow you to demonstrate your analytical thinking and your writing skills. It's connected to our learning dispositions because you will be developing your independence by being self-disciplined and focused during a short period of time of intense academic thinking and writing. You will be developing your ability to seek challenge through reading your text prior to the task, striving to push yourself in your thinking about the task and how you can make connections between ideas. So you will be answer, answering three specific questions in response to the text I will show you in a moment. You must write using full paragraph responses. Your responses must be a minimum of one paragraph long. What constitutes a paragraph? I suggest you do some investigation into that if you're not sure, but I would um, use a rule of thumb um, as I'm going to explain to my classes, a paragraph should be about five sentences, give or take. Now, we are not giving you the three questions ahead of time. So you do not know what these three questions are until you sit down for the in-class task. You will, however, have read the story um, at least once, preferably more times than that. Now, in your response, you should be avoiding personal pronouns in questions one or two, but you can use personal pronouns in question three. Now, if that gives you a clue as to what question three might be about, fantastic. Uh, you must make clear statements, which can be proven. You must include direct quotes and references to the text. We all teacher will talk about that in class and you must write in full paragraphs. It's so important for this task. It's part of what we're marking. Uh, so in terms of the assessment criteria, you can read that there that is directly taken from the framework um, and you can see additional information here about relevant BSSS policies. For our purposes, um, a substantial attempt on an assignment, if you do not make a substantial attempt, it is considered to be a non-submission and that can feed into v-grading English, which we want to avoid. So for our purposes, a substantial task is considered to be a minimum of one paragraph per question directly answering the provided questions. Okay. Um, any less than that will not be considered a substantial attempt and we will have a discussion with you individually. Um, now, due dates are also incredibly important. So if you miss the double lesson in which this task takes place, it's I can't stress to you enough how important it is that you get a medical certificate to cover your absence for the day. Otherwise, you will lose 5% or essentially 5 points per day late. That includes weekends. Okay, so it's really, really important you meet that deadline. And if there's any reason or any chance you're going to miss the lesson, speak to your teacher make sure they know. 
Now, because it's an in-class, you are permitted to bring in a notes page. Uh, your notes page has to be this specific template that you can see on screen now. Okay, really, really important. It's this specific template. Anything else will be confiscated. Um, and if you, you know what, I'll talk about that in a moment. So there's some fairly clear rules to follow here. You must write, it must be handwritten, not typed. Um, and it must be within the box, okay? You can only write dot points, not full paragraphs, not full sentences that you're going to copy over into your um, in-class task. Now we will be checking these and we will be collecting them at the end of the session. So it's really important that you take this seriously. Your teacher in class will talk about how best to use a notes page. We won't worry about that for the purposes of this video. Um, right, if there are any questions about that task, please um, send an email to your teacher and we can deal with it that way. Otherwise, thank you very much.